This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I'm going to talk about converting between percents, decimals, and fractions. So let's start out with something like 12.5%. And I want to convert that into both a decimal and then also into a fraction. So the rule for turning percents into decimals is we take the number, move its decimal point two places to the left, and get rid of the percent sign. So if I have 12.5 and I move its decimal point two places to the left, I'll get 0.125. I might want to put a zero in front of that. And that 0 0.125 is going to be the equivalent of 12.5%. All I did was move its decimal point two places to the left. Now, if I want to turn that back into a percent, I just reverse the process. I would move the decimal point two places to the right, I'd get 12.5, and I'd add a percent sign. If I want to turn that into a fraction, I take the number, the 12.5, without the percent sign, and put it over 100. So I've got 12.5 over 100. Now, I don't want to leave that as with a decimal as part of the fraction. So I could multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. That would shift the decimal over and basically get rid of it. So 10 times 12.5 is 125, and 10 times 100 is 1,000. So now I've got 125 over 1,000. And if it's possible to reduce it, we probably should. And I could reduce that. I could turn it into 1 over 8. Okay, so the percent, the, the fraction representation of 12.5% is going to be 1 over 8. Let's try another one. Let's say we have a number like 75%. Now the rule says to move the decimal point two places to the left. 75% doesn't have a decimal point that I can see, but we could assume there would be a decimal point after the 5. So I'm just going to assume there's a decimal point there, move it two places to the left, and it would turn into 0 0.75. If I want to turn it back into a percent, I would just reverse the process, move the decimal point back two places to the right, I'd have 75, and I'd add a percent sign. To turn it into a fraction, I'm just going to take that 75, and put it over 100. I've got 75 over 100, it's a fraction, but I want to reduce it. So I'll turn that into 3 over 4. And again, I could, re I could repeat, I could reverse this process also, turn 3 quarters into 75 over 100, and then take that 75 over 100 and turn it into 75%. I might have a percent with a fraction in it. I could have something like one half percent. So to deal with that, the first thing I'm going to do is take that one half and turn it into a decimal. So instead of one half percent, I'm going to write 0 0.5 percent because one half is the same as 0 0.5. And now I can move its decimal point two places to the left. So I'm going to have 0 0.005, and I drop the percent sign. So I've moved the decimal point two places to the left, from here two places to the left, I get 0 0.005. If I want to turn that into a fraction, I'll take that 0 0.5, put it over 100. Once again, I've got a decimal in the numerator. I don't want to have a decimal as part of my fraction. I could multiply this by 10 times 10, or if I wanted to, or 10 over 10, I mean. Or if I wanted to, I could just multiply it by 2 over 2. 2 times 0.5 would be 1, and then 2 times 100 would be 200. And now my fraction is reduced, so I've got 1 over 200. Okay? So that's basically the process. Take care. I'll see you next time.